Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ciphering Weather. In today's video, we're going to continue our hurricane preparedness week and go over how to develop an evacuation plan. If you like detailed weather breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. Hurricanes are some of the strongest storms that occur on our planet. They occur all throughout the season depending on where you are. In the Atlantic, it's between June 1st and November 30th. And typically, we can get very strong storms during that time with the peak occurring during the uh, peak hurricane season around September 10th. They cause strong winds in excess of 74 miles per hour. When, upon landfall, they can make land tornadoes from water spouts coming on shore or just the change in elevation causing lift in the atmosphere and creating tornadoes. If they stall out, they can cause inland flooding, even if it's just a tropical depression or storm. And then along the beach, you have rip currents from the waves crashing on the beach and the storm surge pushing on land from the strong winds and direction of the storm as it comes ashore. And because of this, it's highly recommended during a hurricane to evacuate. Now, what are some of the reasons why you would want to evacuate? You want to be away from the storm surge, one. And depending on where you are along the coast, some areas are much more vulnerable to inlet to flooding from storm surges, especially down in uh, Florida, Louisiana, the Carolinas, Long Island, anywhere that's pretty much along the coast where you can have low-lying areas that can flood very easily. So because of that, you want to know if you are in a flood zone. And this is a map of the New York City flood zone showing the different categories of if you're in a if it's a category 1 hurricane or a category 2 or a category 3, if you should be evacuating because you're in a prone area for flooding during a hurricane. And then the green dots are showing where your evacuation centers should be. You can look this up in your own city or town or state to know where you should be looking for if you're in a, an evacuation zone and where your evacuation centers are located. Now, when you do have to evacuate, you're gonna to wanna to make a plan because you don't wanna get into this. You don't wanna get into a traffic jam trying to get away from the coast like everybody else is at the same time, especially if your city didn't plan it very well and only kept one side of the highway open when they could have opened up both sides of the highway and get people out more efficiently. You wanna be able to have multiple evacuation routes when leaving your city, town, county away from the coast or a low-lying area if you have a hurricane, tropical storm, tropical depression heading in your direction. And I know it's not possible sometimes on the barrier islands. So you want to be able to plan ahead of time when and where you're going to go to avoid the traffic and protect yourselves during this time. When you also are evacuating, you're going to want to have an evacuation kit. And we're going to make a video about this later this week on what you should include in your kit to protect you and your family when you have to evacuate. Now, when a hurricane evacuation order is issued, you want to follow those evacuation orders. One of the biggest things, especially in an area that's going to be flooded during a hurricane from storm surge, is they're going to cut the power. And without power, sometimes you might not have cell phone reception or you can't charge your cell phone. You won't get the emergency orders. Uh, or from your local government, you won't have police services sometimes because the, the situations are so dangerous during the peak of a hurricane, they're not going to send out the police or even the firefighters or EMS during the peak of a hurricane because they don't want to jeopardize their emergency people's lives as well. So, it's best to follow the evacuation order, protect yourself, protect your neighbors, protect your own community just by doing what they say 
So that way they don't have to risk their lives trying to save you. If you have pets, you're going to want to make a plan as well. Sometimes shelters or evacuation centers don't take pets. And there's a lot of people who don't evacuate because they don't know what to do with their pets. If your pets are going to be with you, find a shelter that's going to be pet friendly or go to a hotel that's pet friendly. It's something that you can do to give yourself peace of mind so that way you're not having to put yourself in jeopardy because you don't want to leave your pets. So overall, when a hurricane or a tropical storm is approaching you, what you want to do is make sure you know you're in an evacuation zone, plan several routes, and know how to get out of your town without causing too much more traffic or to avoid traffic, leave earlier if possible. Have your go-to supply bag, plan for your pets, and most importantly, just follow the evacuation order. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and leave a comment. Please share this video with your family and friends on social media. And if you're new and like detailed weather breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. Thank you and have a great day.